278 kilometers from Kampala is the district of Kasese. Here, smallholder farmers are investing in coffee, a cash crop once abandoned for its low profit margins and unstable prices. Today, coffee shambas dot the slopes of the Renzori Highlands, marking a resurgence of a cash crop that was the main income source for most households. The growing confidence in this cash crop is in part owed to the rebirth of the farmers' cooperatives. Among them, the Bukonzo Organic Farmers' Cooperative Union, also known as BOKU. Uh, BOKU means Bukonzo Organic Farmers' Cooperative Union, a union comprising of 11 primary cooperatives. And behind the primary cooperatives, we have 3,000 farmers. They are looking at washed Arabica coffee production at farm level. Uh, Boku does the marketing of the farmer's coffee. In order to get a premium price, Boku targets premium markets. And premium markets are interested in the highest quality coffee. Lutheran World Relief supported us with a capping lab. Uh, this lab has equipment that help us analyze the coffee quality and we are informed of the status of the coffee. Basically, the main reason for capping is to know how best the coffee is. And the coffee have just capped, I can see. This first one has got 87. 0.75. It's really very nice coffee. So, <clears throat> Since Lutheran gave us this lab, we are now ready and very happy because we can share our cup scores with our buyers. We are happy today. We are able to make analysis of our coffee, understand the status, and we are able to know what the buyer has given out as a result compared to book coffee. This one is giving us a bargaining power. A high cup score such as 87.75 is the result of good agricultural practices at the production and the post-harvest stages. Lutheran World Relief, through Boku, is building the capacity of farmers at both stages, starting with soil and water management at the production level. This is biochemo organic fertilizer. It was made from green leaves, which are fresh. Uh, you you go into the bush, you collect fresh leaves, which are soft, not hard ones, that can rot easily. After three months of decomposition, the result is an affluent used as a biofertilizer, as well as a biopesticide by the farmers. At the post-harvest level, Lutheran World Relief has supported Boku equip the micro-washing stations for better post-harvest handling. Our Lutheran World Relief has supported all the micro-stations, 36 with the pulpers and washing sh and micro-station sheds and drying tables plus racks, fermentation bins. So all the farmers are happy. We are now producing uniform, uniform coffee we are now at an average of 86 cup score. A cup score means the percentage you are able to provide following all the quality attributes in the coffee. For instance, the aroma, the body, the taste. When they are all combined together, you realize a cup score either good or bad. Today we are just having a very good cup score, which is attracting most of the buyers to come on board. Boku seeks for specialty markets to get the best deals for its farmers. This requires the farmers to meet minimum quality standards with credible certification. We are organic, we are fair trade. With fair trade, the whole advantage of certification for fair trade is a minimum price. The coffee prices always change. And because of the fair trade certification, 
the farmers are guaranteed of a minimum price. They will never get a buyer who will buy coffee at a lower price than the minimum price, which is $1.40 per pound. Organic certification is an issue to look at the environment, take care of the health of the person who's consuming the product. So this one, the buyers are able to pay an organic premium, which also goes back to the farmer to increase our economic income and to make more investments and also invest in coffee production more. Among the premium markets Boku has driven into are EZA from Austria, Utmathi from Germany, Olam from UK, Crop to Cup USA, Agora USA, Royal Coffee Merchants USA. With an enterprise model that works, Boku plans to scale to a point of self-sustainability. The expansion of its storage facility, supported by Lutheran World Relief, is evidence of its ambitions. We believe in the future, when donors begin to reduce their support, we should be able to sustain ourselves because we have all what it takes to keep a book moving. One, we are increasing in the volume. We were at 3.5 per, per, per year. Now we are looking at 10 containers per year. And our focus, we are adding three containers every year. That's our projection. And talking of the future, the union also plans on increasing its membership from 3,000 farmers to 5,000 farmers so as to meet the growing demand for its coffee.